Hello friends, welcome to DP Tutorials. You can use Primavera P6 numerous highlighting and filter capabilities to highlight activities within a range of dates or some other criteria. You may also use Primavera P6 spotlight feature to highlight activities and Gantt chart bars within a range of dates starting with the data date. In this video, let's see how to use Primavera P6 filters to highlight various activities and also using of spotlight to highlight activities this is the sample schedule that we'll be using now and let's first get into the filter tool to highlight activities select the filter icon at the top of the screen this brings up the filters dialog box let's create a filter for our specific range of dates select the plus new icon here which brings up the filters dialog box here set the parameter to start. We are going to create a filter to highlight activities that are scheduled to start within a range of dates. So set the variable is to is within the range of and set the value to a custom date say 1st February and the high value to a custom date say 31st March. Now name this filter as specific range of dates. We are going to highlight all activities that have a start date within a range of 1st February to 31st March 2018. Click OK and now select the filter specific range of dates and then select the feature highlight activities in current layout which match criteria which is at the bottom of the filters dialog box select ok and your activities view will be like this all the activities within our data range are highlighted in blue like shown here we can also use the default filters to highlight activities as an example select the critical filter and again select the highlight activities in current layout which match criteria feature at the bottom of the filters dialog box. The resulting activities will be as displayed like this highlighting in blue color. Now suppose we want to highlight all the activities from the current data date to a specific date. We need to use the progress spotlight feature. Click this. Left click on the high range edge of the spotlight and move the cursor to either the left or right depending on the high date that you would require. As the data date is updated, the spotlight start date will move to the right in the Gantt chart calendar view. Note that the Gantt chart date range is highlighted in yellow as well as the individual activities that fall within the data range. So friends. These are some of the features available in Primer P6 for easy viewing of activities and gadget bars. So friends, this is all about highlighting activities in Primer P6. So friends, if you like this video, please do give a like, share and comment. And for further more interesting videos, please do subscribe GP Tutorials. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.